Hello and welcome to another iCreate video tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create custom keyboard shortcuts for any any app on your Mac whether it's first party or third party. So we're going to start with Pixelmator. Here I have a lovely photo of every iPhone Apple has ever made um, but I want to export it and as you'll see from this menu the export command it doesn't have uh, a keyboard shortcut associated with it. So we can create that with a simple three-step tutorial. So first open up system preferences, click on the keyboard command from the options and select shortcuts from the top tabs. Now you want to click app shortcuts on the list on the left and you'll see that there are show help there is a show help menu command already enabled. To create another command of your own click the plus button down here. Now you'll see that you can create the shortcut for all applications or if you click this drop down menu you'll see you can select a specific application from the list. So I could select Pixelmator here but actually I want to use this for every application on the whole Mac. So I'm going to type in the export uh, menu command. Now you need to type this exactly as it appears. So here uh, as you will see in the file menu the export command has an ellipsis after it and it's important that you type the ellipsis correctly. It's not a dot dot dot, it's an ellipsis and in order to type that you're going to hold down alt and hit semicolon like that. Now if you type in dot 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 it will appear like this dot 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 but we don't want that, we want the ellipsis so hold down alt hit semicolon and the ellipsis will appear. Then you can pick any keyboard shortcut that you want so I'm going to choose command shift and E. Uh, it can be literally any combination of, of uh, keys as long as it has a command control or alt and you'll see that export has appeared in that menu so if we go back into Pixelmator and click file you'll now see that export has the command that you've just added to it in the list. Now if I hit shift command E there you can see that I have the export menu appear. So this will appear anytime you tap the uh, keyboard shortcut you've added and it will work for any app in the system because you've selected all applications. So it will work in Safari or iPhoto or any app. Thanks for tuning in guys. Don't forget to check back next month for more tutorials from iCreate Magazine and follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook or check out the website at iCreateMagazine.com.